the short block assembly is used to fix an engine that has had a major failure, such as a seized piston, broken connecting rod, or lack of compression. The short block assembly consists of the cylinder and crankcase, the piston and connecting rod, the crank shaft, and the intake and exhaust gaskets. Replacing the short block assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the top cover from the engine. I'll go ahead and remove the spark plug as well. Now I'll remove the air filter cover, the air filter, and I'll remove the air filter base and carburetor. Behind the carburetor, I'll disconnect the ignition wires. And now I'll remove the fuel tank. Next, I'll remove the plastic housing beneath the muffler. And now I can separate the clutch housing and shaft from the engine. Now I can begin installing the short block. Really, installing the short block just consists of removing all of the auxiliary items from the old engine and installing them onto the short block. I'll begin by removing the ignition coil, the carburetor isolator, the muffler, the starter, Beneath the starter, I'll need to remove the starter cup. As I try to unscrew it, the engine will just rotate over, so I need to bind up the piston. To do that, I'll use a small length of rope. I'll insert it through the spark plug hole, and now I'll rotate the engine over until it binds. Then I can use a pair of adjustable pliers to remove the cup. I'll flip the engine around and remove the clutch the same way. Remove the flywheel. Now I can remove the rope from the cylinder. And I need to remove the flywheel key. I'll use a small punch to tap the key away from the keyway. You may need to clean up the key with a piece of sandpaper. And last, I'll remove the grounding wire and the wire keeper. and I'll go ahead and reinstall them on the new short block. The reassembly will go pretty much in the reverse order. Again, I'll bind the piston, and now I can reinstall the flywheel, clutch, and the starter cup. I'll install the key back into the keyway on the shaft. I'll need to tap the key into the shaft. I place the shaft on the anvil on my vise, being careful not to damage the taper or the threads. And I'll carefully tap the key into place. reinstall the flywheel and the clutch. On the opposite side I'll reinstall the starter cup. And now I can remove the rope. Now I'll install the starter. Next, I'll reinstall the muffler. The short block kit includes a new muffler gasket. And I'll reinstall the carburetor isolator. And again, the kit includes the gasket. 
I like to insert the screws through the gasket as it holds the gasket in place. I want to be careful I don't over tighten these screws or I'll crack the insulator. Now I can reinstall the ignition coil. I'll rotate the flywheel until the flywheel magnets are pointing straight up. I need to set a gap between the ignition coil and the flywheel. In this case, that gap needs to be 14 thousandths of an inch. To do that, I have a gapping tool, which is nothing more than a piece of plastic that's the proper thickness. If you don't have one of these, a thick business card will usually work as well. I'll place the gapping tool over the flywheel and the ignition coil on top of the gapping tool. I'll go ahead and install the screws. Before I tighten the screws, I'll make sure the ignition coil is pressed firmly against the gapping tool and then tighten them up. Now I can reinstall the engine to the clutch and shaft assembly. Now reinstall the fuel tank. Next I'll reinstall the carburetor and the air filter base. Again I'll use the new gasket that came in the kit. And again, I'll be careful to not over tighten these screws so I don't crack the insulator. I'll reconnect the ignition wires. Fold them over. And secure them underneath with the wire holder. Now I'll reinstall the plastic housing that goes beneath the muffler. I'll reinstall the air filter and the air filter cover. I'll reinstall the motor cover. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the spark plug. And that's how you can install a new short block in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 